Hi everyone, this is a GRE quantitative reasoning practice question. This is from the topic number properties, an interesting question, medium difficulty question. The question is set as a problem solving question, essentially meaning that you will have a question stem followed by 5 answer options, there is only one answer option which is right. Let us get started with the question, x, y and z are distinct integers, just make a note of all of these little things right, distinct which means that x is not equal to y is not equal to z, they are 3 different numbers, they are integers, so you do not need to bother about the value of the number being a 2.3 or a minus 8.4 right, they are full numbers, they are integers such that modulus of x, modulus of y and modulus of z are less than or equal to 5, we will make sense out of it in the next slide. What is the least possible value of the product of these three numbers x, y and z is what the question is right. Let us first make sense out of the second statement, this second part of the statement right, x modulus of x is less than or equal to 5, same holds good for y and for z, so if we make sense for one we can make sense for the other right. So, x is a number if it is positive it could be an integer which is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in the positive spectrum x can take values which are from 0 to 5, essentially that is what it is right. So, it, its magnitude is less than 5, magnitude can start from 0, it can go up to 5, if it is less than 5 it is saying less than or equal to 5, so it can also be a 5. What if it is a minus 1, can x be a minus 1? minus 1 the modulus of that is equal to 1 which is less than or equal to 5. So, which means on the left hand side how much can it go? It can go all the way up to minus 5. So, values that x can take will range from minus 5 to plus 5. So, what are all the values possible? Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 11 values are possible for x. Same holds good for y. So, y comma z I am writing both of them together here also take values from minus 5 to plus 5 both included right, minus 5 is also included plus 5 is also included. They said these numbers are all distinct which means that if x takes a minus 5 then no other number y or z cannot be a minus 5. We are interested in finding out the least possible value of the product of these three numbers. We know that these numbers can take negative values. Negative numbers obviously have values which are lesser than positive numbers. So, obviously we are trying to look for a product x, y, z, whatever product we are looking at, if it is a number less than 0, that is when the product is going to be the least. Let us take a look at the answer options first before we proceed any further. Look at 4 out of the 5 answer options have a negative value, 1 is a 0. So, essentially if you can say that hey I can get values which are less than a 0, then obviously those are going to be the least one. Let us just look at it, let us take for a moment, this is not the least value, say so, there is a minus 1, there is a minus 2, there is a minus 3, minus 1 into minus 2 is a plus 2 into a minus 3 is a minus 6, so negative numbers are possible. So, we can rule out one answer option which is essentially this, A is definitely not the answer option. We will find out how low can these values be, right. So, we want the product to be negative, product when will it be negative? The product will be negative when there are 3 numbers, right. So, x, y, z, let us check out if all of them are negative, the product of x, y, z is going to be negative. All of them being positive is definitely ruled out. Let us look at is it possible to have 2 negative and a positive, product of 2 negative numbers is positive into positive will be positive. So, that is also not possible, all 3 positive is ruled out, we do not even have to write it. 1 negative and 2 positive, is it possible? Yes, these 2 positive numbers will give you a positive product into a negative number which is going to give us negative. So, either all 3 can be negative or 2 numbers can be positive and 1 can be negative. In negative numbers, note this, again let us look at the number line. For example, I am just writing from minus 5 to minus 1, that is not the answer but I am just writing it for us to understand. Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, this is the ascending order of numbers which means minus 5 is less than minus 4 is less than minus 3 is less than minus 2 is less than minus 1 right. So, essentially when it comes to negative numbers larger the magnitude lesser the value, minus 5 larger magnitude has a lower value than minus 4 so on and so forth. So, what we are trying to look at is we want to get a product which is negative that is objective number 1 and we also want the magnitude of the product to be as high as possible. So, what are all the magnitudes that we have? We have magnitudes ranging from 0 to 5, magnitudes alone I am saying. So, let us pick as high a magnitude as possible, if we can take all 3 numbers to be a 5 that is possible, but these are distinct integers therefore, it is not possible. 
So, what all magnitudes can we look at? We can take mag magnitudes, let us leave magnitudes, what all numbers can we take? Let us pick the magnitude to be higher. So, if I pick a 5, I can pick a minus 5 also, they are distinct numbers, they are on either side, right. So, minus 5 is a possibility, plus 5 is a possibility. These are the highest possible magnitudes that we can have. And in this case, if this is an x and this is a y, they are distinct numbers, that much is done. Now, we picked one positive number. Let us go back and see what is the possibility. 2 positive and a negative is what is going to give us a negative value. So, the next number, let us say if this is your x, need not necessarily be, it can be in any order. If x is a minus pi, y is a plus pi, we picked as high a magnitude as possible. Z should be a positive number and it should be a 4. We are again picking as high a magnitude as possible. So, product of all of these 3 will be minus pi into 5 into 4, which is equal to minus 100. So, essentially the idea is to get a number which is negative. The product is negative when all 3 are negative. If you pick all 3 as negative and distinct numbers, what would we have got? Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3. The product of this is a minus 60. Between minus 60 and minus 100 that we got here, minus 100 is a lower number. So, definitely this is the least possible value. So, to get the least possible value, we know it has to be a negative number. The magnitude has to be highest. Magnitude highest, pick as high a magnitude as possible. Minus 5 is one number, plus 5 is one number. So, you got one positive number, one negative number. The third number necessarily will have to be a positive number. And the highest, next highest magnitude is a 4 for it. So, that gives us the least possible product to be equal to a minus 100. Take a look at the answer options. Minus 100 choice D is the correct answer to this question.